be in business with Basile Venice now. Yes. We've been consistent doing the same things over a long period of time. And eventually you you become a leader because we focused on doing the same things over and over and over again. So we've been here for the past 11 years. My yeah. father was, uh, was a driver, my mother was a housewife, and we were raised in, in, in the rural Chivo. We did our primary education there and uh, um, later moved to directly from you know, secondary education. But basically, uh, you know, my family was, you know, uh, I won't say poor family, but uh, just below average, a family. I, I, I did spend much of my, you know, young adult life with him when I was, when I was in Form 1. So he, he, would, he would teach, he would tell, you know, tell me life stories, how, how they were brought up what it is to work hard, what it is to achieve what, what you want. And so in a way, I learned quite a lot from, from his teachings. I, I was raised in Chibu, did my primary education there, and later moved to Redcliffe when I was doing my grade six. Um, did my, my, my secondary education in, in Redcliffe uh, until uh, on that level. Then I um, worked briefly in Harare uh, after, after my secondary education, worked uh, OK, OK supermarkets, and then went for next training in 1993. I, I later, you know, study, uh, you know, nursing education uh, at the University of you know, Teesside later in, later in, in 20, 2007. And I, I did up to ordinary level. Um, I had to, to look for a job and, and help him, you know, send the other siblings to school. My father was struggling to pay to raise school fees for us. So each term could be sent home. Sometimes we would, would, would stay at home for a week or two before, before you know, joined others when, when, when schools opened. So I would say that was the toughest time. Yes, it is. Um, uh, it's, it's one of one of, one of them. It is, but n n not education alone. It's education and other factors that would contribute to 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 to, to the success of, of any venture. But yes, education is the first first step. You need to be educated, you know, before you 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 do anything else. The rest would, would follow suit. But uh, the first step is education. You need basic education, that's it, yeah. It was very difficult. Um, uh, I was from, coming from Spring Hospital. Uh, then I was in London, I got a job. Yes, initially I was working as a driver, but later on I, I, I was in the office, working you know, in the office. It was a very difficult uh, having to cope with modern office you know, a modern office world um, when you're from, from, from rural Chipinge. It was very difficult. I had not used a computer in my life, so it was my first time to, 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 to start using a computer. Uh, I was in charge uh, of, of over, a, I think, over 200 nurses, you know. So it, it was really a, a huge challenge. But um, it, it took me a while uh, until I started to learn the ropes and understand the dynamics of working with different, you know, people from different countries. So, eventually, yes, I, I, I mastered the game and, and I learned quite quickly, but it was very difficult, you know, the first few months. See, when, when we, I think my fifth year in England, we, 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 we did um, open up, you know, um, our own business operations, and um, we were employing, you know, you know, we were running an nursing agency. But um, in 2005, you know, remember when 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 England opened its doors to to other EU countries, with influx of a lot of people in, into the UK, and then it meant that our our company was 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 really threatened because. 
they could easily employ people from all over Eastern Europe, from you know, from all over. So eventually, we, we, we lost all our contracts because um, those who were working with could now then uh, employ people directly. And we, then we, we said, what what should we do? Because we're in the verge of collapsing. And we said the best option is going to Zimbabwe. Um, and then we said, what should we do when we go back to Zimbabwe? That's how the idea came about. So let's let's have a, um, a car rental company. We we hire cars cars out to people from the UK uh, when they visit Zimbabwe, and when they come, they you know when they go to Zimbabwe, they hire cars, and uh, we we will be able to pay our bills with with a mortgage um, of this this premise. Uh, then, so our focus would say how we are going to pay our mortgage, how we are going to keep our property. So. When we had that, it worked very well in the first few months. People would come from the UK, pay in the UK, they would pay our mortgage and they get cars here and that's how it started. We had four cars, four small cars, yeah. It's over 100, over 100 cars, yeah. South Africa, the job in Cape Town, Durban, and um, Johannesburg. We had Vic Falls and Blue Oil and Nari. You see, I'm sure we all know kites. They, they, they don't rise, you know, with the wind, but it's against the wind. So what basically I was trying to say is when chips are down, things are difficult. You, you should not despair and say things are difficult and I'll take a break. You, you, you need to, to do more. If you, if you look at, I was, I was uh, you know, I, I've, I've read about Abramovich. He, he, he made his, his billions of dollars uh, when the economy was, was down in this country, in Russia. And uh, my belief is when things, chips are down, you, you must rise and, and, and try and strive and do more. The, the, the vision is to, to maintain that. Um, we want to, to, to be the number one company uh, in Zimbabwe you know, in our car rental business. We want to, to do more in, in Southern Africa. We want to, you know, uh, to, to go into uh, Zambia, um, Botswana in the next uh, maybe three years. Just, just be focused, work hard and, and, and be focused. It's, it's doable. Nothing is, is, is impossible. Um, despite your background, despite, uh, uh, you know, how you're brought up, you, you, if you aim at, at something wholeheartedly, Quick, quick, quick! Hard to achieve that. It's, it's, it's possible. We, we, music brings people together, so we we bring artists, uh, you know, uh, to, to 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 enhance, if I may, you know, for lack of uh, the right words, we we, we 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 try and market our 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 brand using music. Because music uh, brings people together. So, if well, obviously we, we, we're doing it for a reason, but one of the reasons uh, behind is to, to, to you know, make sure the word goes around, people get used to, to the name Impala, and uh, while it's we, 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 we getting revenue to, 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 to support our, our, our you know, uh, foundation, but mainly. We use music to bring people together and, and market ourselves. Yes, we we we, we looking after uh, uh, children, orphans in Chibu. They are 60, 67 now. Um, also, they are the best in Chibu region, and we we pay fees, medical bills, you know, do their uniforms, do their groceries and um, we'll be doing it for the past four years now. Yes, 
obviously yes um, but what, 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 what we usually do is we, we, we sit down uh, and every year uh, and, and we, we say in the next five years what you want to achieve so we sat down two years ago and say in the next five years we want to be in South Africa, Zambia and Botswana. Now we are in South Africa, we are now working on, on Zambia and, and then uh, Botswana next. So yes, um, after, those, after we achieve that, we we'll then sit, sit down and say what we want to do next. But uh, the short term is, is to be in Botswana and, in Botswana and Zambia. It's difficult to say, well, obviously, uh, not a billionaire. I, equally, not, well, I wouldn't say millionaire with, 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 um, with uh, the current uh, economic crisis we, we, we are in. Um, yes, I could be a millionaire, but uh, a millionaire in what? Is it, you know, is it, if, 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 I, if my account is uh, a million dollars, a million today, would I say a millionaire? It's, it's difficult to say. Assets, uh, assets wise, yes, we have got cars in South Africa, we have got a fleet in Zimbabwe. Maybe put that together, maybe a million years. Yeah, yeah, yeah.